1987 was a pretty phenomenal year as the Notre Dame Hounds jumped from midget AAA to the SJHL. I, I remember thinking going into that season that we had no idea what to expect. We were a bunch of 17 year olds playing against 18, 19 and 20 year olds and we weren't sure if we were going to get whooped every night or if we were going to be able to be competitive. Like was it preseason or beginning yeah. of the year? We, we played uh, I can't remember we played, maybe it was Weyburn, I can't remember we played, but uh, like I think it was our first game and we won 11 to 1 and that mm. was a, I think, remember that? That, yeah, was, do, yeah. that was loud yeah. across the league. Everybody's like, what just happened? At the end of the regular season, having won 53 of 60 games, the Cinderella story continued. Yorkton was our first big obstacle. Yeah, we we gotten through the first couple of rounds of the playoffs and then like Joby said, it, Yorkton uh, really was a strong test. They had a good, had a good team. Really good team. Uh, Dennis Polonich was the coach and uh, they were well coached and they were a little bit older, like most every other team, but had some experience and some real skill of guys. But I think we won, was it in six games? Six games and yeah, like we said, Willie Mitchell actually ended up, uh, Yeah. had to pull Curtis and put in Willie. Yeah. And uh, right. we had really good goaltending. I mean, Willie yeah. doesn't get the credit that yeah. Curtis does, obviously, Curtis Crawford, but Willie was, uh, yeah. he was big for us. He all was. year long, yeah. And then, so that, that got us the league championship. Um, afterwards, in those Winnipeg, days, right? yeah, we had to play the Manitoba champion, yeah. which was Winnipeg South Blues. Right. And uh, that one was a little bit less of a test. I think we won four, four, in, a four in a row there which got us to the Western Canadian, I think they called it then. Western yeah, Canadian I can't remember, not the cup or whatever it was called. But uh, that was against Calgary. And that's that's an interesting story in and of itself, the Calgary series. It'll be fine. Wow. Yeah, no, it was it was a good series. It was yeah. it was wild. I mean, there was, there was, I remember people throwing sticks. Was it Corey Hirsch? Yeah. Corey Hirsch, a guy I actually played with later on. Yeah. with New York, but at the time, yeah, he was swinging a stick over the glass, and yeah. there, in our rink it was crazy, but uh, yeah, that was that was tough, because we were down three games to one, yeah. and uh, yeah, well, long story short, uh, we bounced back and uh, ended up uh, having to go to Calgary for the final game, and uh, the whole, whole school came. They bust yeah. them all down, they put them all on buses, and and it was it was loud. I mean, you knew they were there before the game started. Yeah, so. I just remember feeling the building almost yeah. shake. We're in the dressing room. We could feel all the kids, right? Yeah, we had four hundred kids. Four hundred kids back then. Four hundred of them just going bananas, you know, just above us. And I, I really think that helped. I mean, how could it not help, right? Oh yeah, no, it was um, great that they were there, and a lot of alumni because Calgary's a big yes, yeah. big Notre Dame uh, alumni hub. And in that game, I think it was a three-two final, but uh, with only a few seconds to go, they were awarded a penalty shot. Right? Yeah, Three, two to... Batters push, push the net off. Yeah, that's right. Batters push the net off. And Which so is probably awarded. a smart thing at the time. I mean, it probably was. It wasn't a bad move at the time because yeah. uh, you know, Curtis bailed us out again. Yeah. I'd yeah. rather have him. He stopped like 20, held the record for a breakout. Like we used to have shootouts back then. Yeah. I think he went and 20 or 21 in a row without being scored on. Consecutive yeah. stops. like. The game got to a shootout. We felt real good about our yeah. chances. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, Curtis made the save, and that's what got us to uh, Pembroke. And that wasn't actually. Uh, it wasn't that challenging, except for the last game was close. Last game was Halifax. close. Yeah. Was it Halifax? Halifax. Yeah. yeah. It's called the Centennial Cup back then, which is was it RBC Cup now? RBC Cup now. Yeah, and the. It almost seems when I look back that the highlight or the climax of that season was that Calgary series because yeah. I think people expected us to fold our tents. We were down three to one. We'd had a really good season. No one would have begrudged us anything had we just said, okay, let's. But uh, he said, kept chipping away. And after winning that, we went to Pembroke. And I can't really remember a whole lot about Pembroke for some reason, except that final was real tight. We were down 2 1, I think, after the second period. and. Got a couple goals in the third to to win it. Yeah, real real fun way to end the season. That's for sure.